Ethan, oh, come on in. Tough day today. Uh, I think that's, uh, there's no really other pleasantries or ways of going about it. So let's just talk about it. Let's get it out of the way, bro. What's up, man? Yeah, tough loss. Tough, uh, haven't gotten a map this split yet. So kind of sucks. Yeah, I think that's it's a fair, valid uh, <laughs> feeling, actually, you know, because like you're coming back into it, you know, with a almost a revitalized energy, but then not being able to show that up just yet is probably the toughest part. I think that's a uh, that's that's a sentiment of a lot of people, you know, when you're looking at team and core as a whole, right? There's there's a lot to expect, but I find we're seeing more and more of that as we get through each of these games. And considering a super yep. week, it's only going to get harder, fortunately, as you guys, what you play again tomorrow or in like a day or two right wednesday yeah wednesday damn you took 48 hours all right cool another goddamn turnaround pretty much deciding your playoff split that's uh, i'll be honest just like feelings on that too i feel like that seems that seems fucking impossible man just like turnarounds of 48 hours yeah. how do you do that shit <laughs> pretty rough i mean i think uh i think the thing the stat was like we have three matches in seven days yes um with with all the time uh, Riot has for the season. It's a little weird making a team play that much in, in a week, but you can't change anything with them. So we're just gonna go with the roll with the punches. Yeah. How do you how do you prep for that with like with, with like within seven days, three different teams, three different styles, and you guys are coming in. It's a brand new squad with like you know like a week yeah. to practice, bro. Uh, I think between the crew game, so on Wednesday between that game and our last one against Cloud Nine, or it might be switched around. But yeah, against between between those between those two games, we have. We have like five days or something. So that, you can change a lot in five days, but uh, in one day, that's it's a stretch. It's definitely definitely pretty tough. So we try to think ahead and, you know, cram as much as you can in and then, you know, try to prep for both at the same time, whether it's like map, map vetoes or, or just tendencies and stuff like that. We try to do as much as we can, but it is hard. Before we get into all that more, just take me to your day today, right? Talk to me about not necessarily your individual performance, but... You know, how you find that you guys have been able to evolve, especially with the you now finally back in the support role and doing what you feel most, most comfortable in? Because I find you guys are looking better overall. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I thought, I mean, I thought we would be better. And I also thought, you know, we we, we do look like, I mean, especially in practice, we look really good. We look kind of like how a team like us should should look. Um, but in these matches, it's obviously like a lot, a lot of pressure on certain rounds um and they the ones we lose happen to be very important rounds most of the time so you know thrifties uh just you know gun rounds that just swing economy um you know all that kind of stuff it just matters that much more in, in matches and we're just not we're just not winning the right rounds i guess is a, is a simple way to put it uh yeah. what i want to also understand from your side is um what i could feel definitely on stage and perhaps in game too so let me know if we're getting too into it I find, especially going into map two, right? Just the frustration continued to grow from you guys. Was it just because of those super close rounds, or, I, or just like, or just in general of like, you guys thinking, man, we're so much better than this. There should be more. Like, they, they, like, like, this should be easier. You know? Never, never. It should be easier. Just because we know the teams we play, you know, are so good. Um, but there's obviously like a certain standard you hold yourself to as a team. Um, so when you do lose these some like unlosable rounds or, or just thrifties or anything like that. The rounds you should win. It's yeah, it gets in your head a little bit, but um, we all trust each other to bounce back. So it's not like, it's not like a one, one round and you're just, you, your head explodes and you, you lose the game. We're definitely pretty good at, I mean, it showed in our send game last, uh, last week, the comeback we had on sunset, you know, even though it ended up being anticlimactic, um, you know, that the comeback was there. And I think we showed a lot of resilience in that game. Well, I do want to ask more about you though uh where in my in my in my thing was, was that you've been looking way more jack recently bro you you look like you've been fucking in the gym lifting shit rocking 45s on the curl bro what's going on <laughs> with that <laughs> yeah i mean I, I i like to keep the routine i i feel like once uh once the split starts i gotta i gotta stay locked in so i try to you know, I try to stay perfect outside of game and as as much as in game. Okay, so so have you been able, able to get your gym sessions in too? The past couple of weeks or so, we've been able to get in there, get get your goddamn creatine and all that yet. Yeah, yeah, we we haven't had an off day yet, so I've been uh, at gym every day before practice, 
And so we have practice every day. So I gym every day. Seven days a week. I imagine you're sore as shit getting into practice. And you just walk in all sweaty. All right, bro. Let me play games for six hours. <laughs> well, I shower before I get there. But it is, it's it's taxing. I definitely, I, I know the balance between, you know, like working yourself to death and, and recovery and trying to chill and stuff like that. So I, I feel like I got a good idea how to balance it. Sorry from that. Speaking of your competing history, though, do you remember mm -hmm. like, uh, do you remember like, uh, what, like how, who you were back when back when like you know like uh like cs summit 3 happened right back in the house right uh yeah, yeah it's just like that kid with no beard right weird lanky hair just uh back when your name was backwards for some reason bro <laughs> i remember i remember yeah this is i remember that was one of your first dubs too wasn't it uh back to your cs days i think right summit yeah summit might have been the first one that was on energy yeah. and then uh I think like Beijing after that was our second one. But mm -hmm. I think Summit, yeah, that the duck, we got the duck trophy. That was our first one. Do you miss the vibe of like just all those summits too? Do you think that could like, you know, perhaps you've done again for Valor and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I think Ludwig did one with Terry, or yeah, maybe yeah. it was just Ludwig. He, he did a tournament like that where they went to a house. I think it was at, I think it was at Summit actually, the Summit house or the Summit. Uh, like kind of like arena. Office, right? kind of like but like it wasn't yeah, the yeah. same, man. It was... <laughs> uh, it's not the same as a house for sure. But I don't think yeah, it wouldn't work in Val. It's that there's a lot of beef for some reason there's a lot of beef between valorant pros everywhere so <laughs> back then back then in cs everyone fucked with each other so it was different i, I want to ask though is because we were because we were talking about it you because you came into valorant and then you switched around the whole backwards name thing you know from the blah, 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 to to ethan finally was that like the whole big rebrand idea of like all right i'm a man now and shit i'm gonna go by my name was that it <laughs> did i switch it in valorant yeah, is that yeah. when i switched it it's, it was right. I oh, yeah, you're right. Cause I had a sticker in CS, so I was bound to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah, I think that was like a fresh slate. It was like a kind of like a restart, and I was just tired of people not knowing how to pronounce it. So, final question I had though, you you talk a lot about uh, about how people who don't who win don't evolve, and where does the evolution now show for you, especially now coming into this year? There's certain aspects where we are like where we evolve really well. Um, or, you know, we're changing to the metas very well, we're adapting to them and we understand them. And maybe sometimes we forget uh, the really basic things because we're too focused on what's new and stuff like that. So that's the curse for a lot of teams. I know a lot of people have that issue. Um, sometimes, you know, you're, you're working so hard or you're adding so many things, you just forget the foundation. So that's a big thing. Um, and you got to have you got to have the base to, to stay on top or at least be good. Um, without that, you kind of just, you kind of fall apart. Makes sense. And uh, as right now though, y'all not apart just yet, but naturally a, lot, a, a little bit of time to be able to just recoup, reconvene and come on back. Ethan, it was a pleasure. Thank you for your time, man. And I cannot wait to see y'all back, bro. GG's. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Have a good night.